It's a yucky weather day. Yuck, yuck, yuck. In between showers. Oh, look. Even though it's a yucky, yucky day, you're tiptoeing through the mud. <laughs> tiptoeing through the mud. Yeah. Oh, and look. Hey, kitties. How are you, kitties? Oh, oh God. That was... Ow! <laughs> you jump on my shoulder and then off my shoulder, scratching my neck. Thank you so much. You're a beast. You scratched my neck and you made me completely mucky. So we've got the siblings, the brothers. Mustard and time watching as the sheep are fed. That really hurt, Time. I've got a big scratch on my neck. Thank you so much. I just wasn't close enough for you to jump on, huh? Is that what was it all about? So, if I get closer to him. Kitty, are you gonna get on my shoulder? If I present you with the shoulder, are you gonna get on it? No, he's not. See, I give him the shoulder right next to the fence. No, he's not going to jump on it. Typical. Typical cat. Now, if I walk away, you going to jump on my shoulder now? No, can't be bothered. Can't be bothered. Cats. It's like doors. You open the door because they want to go out or come in. And they just sit in the middle of the door saying, I don't know, I can't make up my mind. He's doing the same thing. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> it was under my feet. And I tripped over it backwards. It's a big dog to fall over backwards. <laughs> Luckily, the fence was there. It gave you a bit of a fright, but you still don't want to jump on my shoulder when I present it to you, do you? No. Typical cat. The indecisiveness of a cat. Okay, everybody's done. Come on. Easy. Come on. Come on, easy girl. Come on. Out you go. Come on. Come on. Out you go. Out you go. Come on, Judy. Out you go. Excuse me, ladies. Out. Come on. Out. The next shower is arriving. I don't want to get totally wet. Come on. Go on. Go on. There we go. Now, all out. Okay, tie this up and it takes two hands. Okay, ladies, see you tomorrow. It's lovely and mild. Oh, you. Yeah. That's it, bear. Crawl under the fence. Now, they're all going to check out the troughs and see if there's any little bits left. Leaving nothing for the wild birds, obviously. So you want your treat, do you, Kestrel? You're going to follow me back up here. We're going to pass one cat who's being sn tail sniffed. <laughs> You've decided that's not your game, huh? Okay. The next cat's here. Mustard. And up she climbs the ladder. <laughs> and mustard departs. Okay, I'm getting your handful of extra treat for the two of you girls. Mustard's like yeah, what are you being? Look at, she's out over the fence.
Ah, the rain's beginning to fall. This is, this is an, uh, and this is, um, Kara, Kara, Kari, Kari. Look at that. Can you get it off? There you go. No, I fed you everything. There's nothing left. It's finished. Time's being chased out by another lamb. Okay, girls. I'm going. You've had your extra snack. Come on, pup. Inca's eating. Come on. Eating the leftover nibbles that fell out of my hand. See you girls tomorrow. It is a mucky day. Mucky, mucky day. Say lovey. No, you're not. You don't get it. Piglet. Kitty piglet. Oh, bear. Come on. Bear. Come on. Come here, bear. Come on. No, I'm not coming with more food. That is just not happening. Mustard's going to go and see if there's any sheep food left over. He loves sheep food. Look, his coloring matches the gate. 